Hi, in this video I will show you how to plot uh, different or multiple series into one plot by clicking on one button. You can see I generated this chart uh, with uh, all these data I have. It doesn't matter if you have one or two or three series, you can add all of them in one chart in very, very short amount of time. You can just click on one button and this button is connected to that code or to that VBA script and it's going to plot everything for you. Let's see together how we can build this code. I'm using uh, Notepad++ here. Uh, the reason why I'm using Notepad++ is because it's, first off, it's free software, and also I can actually customize it and change the color, change the language, as you can see. Uh, so I really like this tool. It's very useful. I can zoom in or zoom out by clicking on control and scroll the mouse. You can see also there is too many languages here. For example, MATLAB, Python, Fish language. I'm using here Visual Basic for application. The first line in the code, I'm just giving the code a name. These line, these three lines, I'm just defining the X data as a range, Y data as a range, and then the name of series as a range as well. Then the second series also as a range. Then here I'm defining the data X and Y label, and the X label and the 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 X data is reading from column A, starting from column A, row three, to column A, row number 120. If we go to the data, we can see that it starts from row number three, but it ends at row number uh, 13. I'm just giving here extra rows just in case if I want to add more data, the plot is going to update it automatically and reads any data that I add here until 120, rows number 120. Okay, and then I'm defining the Y data, which is from P3 this this cell here to be 120 then I'm defining the name of the series which is going to be in the legend and it's located in cell a1 then I'm doing the same for the second series then here in line 18 I'm defining the reference for active sheet and then for line number 21 I'm defining or creating the chart object at specific location. So what does that mean? These two numbers represent the location of the chart and the spreadsheet. This is the X or the horizontal location and this is the Y or vertical uh, distance and this is the horizontal distance. This is the width of the chart and this is the length of the chart. Okay. Then um, defining the chart as uh, CHT and then I'm creating the new series so in line 29 I'm defining the series here as SER and then I'm connecting it to the X and Y data that I defined in line 10 and 11 and then I'm defining the title or the name of the series which is going to be in the legend of the chart and then I'm defining the type of the chart as XY scatter lines you can ch choose of course different name if you like uh, so another thing I, I want another feature that I want to mention of uh, notepad plus plus for example if you highlight anything the the software or the notepad plus plus is gonna highlight it and it's gonna highlight anything that is exactly similar to it in the entire code. You see, when I highlight this one, it's highlight also this one because it's exactly the same. Okay, uh, that's why I like uh, Notepad++ instead of uh, the normal Visual Basic for application window or editor. Here I'm defining the second series. I'm just changing the name and connect it to, the, to that X and Y label, X and Y data that I defined here, okay, in line 40 and 50, and also the name as well. And then also I'm defining the type of chart as a XY scatter line. Then I'm, I am ending here the 
code so you can pause the video at any time and um, uh, write it so let's see how we gonna connect that to the spreadsheet so if we go to developer insert I'm gonna insert this button you can choose any size you like then I choose the right code okay then I'm gonna edit the text and I want to make this text a little bit bigger good so once I click on it I create the plot very quickly if I need to add another data so it's automatically the blood is automatically updating and adding the new data that's why I'm adding uh, the rows number I'm ending to 120 okay so what if I want to change the size of the blood and the location of the blood let's talk about the location first as I said before you can just come here and change the location for example if I want to push it to the right I can add this number let's delete it and rewrite again so you see the location it went it, it's shifted to the right the location of the chart shifted to the right what if I want to make it smaller so this is the width of the the width of the chart I can change it to reduce it to 300 and see what's going to happen so if I delete this, plot it again, so you see that the, that the size of the chart changed based on these two numbers. So this is the size of the chart, and this represents the location of the chart. Horizontal location, and then vertical distance. Horizontal distance and vertical distance. Okay. So... So you can imagine if we have like multi multiple series, like for example, hundred of series, and we want to build it all. We can use this code, just copy paste, copy paste this, changing some numbers or adding some something here, defining the range of the data that you have in the sheet, and with one button you can just with one click on the this button you can generate the chart. It's gonna take a little bit of time uh, when you first time you write it but if you want to reuse it again with different uh, data and different sheets it's gonna be it's gonna take one second assuming that the, the the location of the data are are the same location and it's not they're not gonna change so it's 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 gonna be very quick and um, you can generate the chart uh, quickly and efficiently without going to insert plot from here and defining all these data manually so as I said it's gonna take uh, time a little bit in the beginning but then later it's gonna it's gonna take one second or less to generate the same data for say uh, to generate the plot for different data so that's it for today I hope you enjoy the video Thank you for thank you so much for watching and I'm just gonna put this on the screen just in case you want to write it so you just can, you can just pause the video and write this code thank you so much for watching bye